of each other and destroyed each other while they ran uh, from the leper. Amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. But that man who doubted what God said, uh, amen, was trampled to death. Uh, amen. He never got to see it. Uh, he was right there at his fingertips. Uh, amen. But because he doubted uh, what God said, uh, I said, because you have doubted uh, what God said, uh, amen, because you have stood against it, uh, amen, oh, glory. Hallelujah. You will not be able to experience it. Whew. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, I'm telling you. This is one of these. With no notes. I couldn't get anything. Hello. <coughs> A few years back, I went through a very embarrassing time, and it lasted for a long time. I mean, accusations got hurled at me, and, and, and there was nothing I could do but just sit and wait. Oh, I, 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 I've got to be honest with you. I fretted. I complained. I done just like some of you do. I didn't think God was quite fair to me. God, you called me, and now I'm I'm, I'm having this problem. How can I how can I win people whenever my my people are <coughs> divided? Not only are my people divided, but it's divided the community, and it's divided. The church somewhat. Because they're not sure. Because anytime people leave the church, generally they look back at the pastor. Why did those good people leave? Are you helping me? <laughs> Why did they? And, 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 and so I had to stand and bear it. And, and one Sunday after church, I went somewhere to eat. And there was a fella that lived close by. He lived right next to where I was going to eat. He lived right beside the place. And I wasn't expecting to run into him. I knew he lived there. But I wasn't expecting to encounter him. And I got out of the car and started to go in, and he hollered at me, got my attention. Not only did he get my attention, but he went to railing on me. All right. I'm standing in the parking lot being railed upon, not understanding why he's doing it. He didn't go to church. He wasn't saved. He wasn't there. He didn't know what was taking place. But he was, I was being railed upon. I didn't say one word back. Matter of fact, well, I did not well, not one word back about it. I spoke to him. I I I I I just avoided. Well, I just got away from the conversation. Can I put it that way? Wow. I just simply got away from it. I talked about something else. I changed it completely. I did it on purpose. He wasn't saved. He didn't need to hear that. And I sure didn't need to be discussing it with him. And I prayed about it. And I asked God to move on him. I asked God to save him. And don't you know God did? After he was stricken with cancer. God saved him. They've run the aisles. They've prophesied to him. You, 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 you ladies didn't know what you was getting on. 
They prophesied to him. They declared him healed. Right. He wasn't healed then. Right. He's not healed right. now. You're right. I want him to be healed Absolutely. because he's dear to me. I want him to be healed. I said because he's dear to me. But when I prayed for him and I asked God for his healing, one night while the spirit is moving high, and I asked God for his healing. I asked God to heal him. God did not tell me he would heal him. God just said, I will strengthen him. Hey Amen. Oh, God, would you move here? Right. I'm here to tell you it's a dangerous thing right. to stand in rebellion against God's word. Right. Against what God has and against his authority. Can you help me? Hey Amen. I realize this message is going here. Amen. And I have not, I really don't understand why it's been said tonight other than God spoke to me last week and he said the judgment's coming down and it's coming down like a hammer. Amen. Oh God, would you help me here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh glory to God. I'm here to tell you, amen, I started out in the old time way, in the old path, Amen. I intend to wind up in the old path. Hallelujah. I started out, amen, preaching against women dressing like men and men dressing like women. I started out preaching against men with long hair and women with short hair. And I'll die preaching it. You hear me? Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let the world change. Let the church change. But let God's word stand forever. Right. Hallelujah. Let it stand forever. Hallelujah. I said, let it stand forever. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. But isn't it amazing how, how the culture changes and how people change? But just a few years ago, just a few years ago, it was a horrible thing if we heard that some of our family had taken up with a member of the opposite sex and had just decided to live together outside holy matrimony. Right. Oh, it was a scandalous thing. Amen. But today, they can do it and if they died in an accident, they would run and find them a preacher who would declare them in heaven. Amen. Oh, glory. And they'd pay the utmost farthing Amen. Just like the simple woman did. Amen. That I read about some time back. Amen. Back down, down, down in, in, in South America. Amen. She had a boy that died and he died with a question mark over his head. Didn't know, well, really, really, you know, he was, he was in a, a, a born uh, in, in Catholicism, uh, a christened in the Catholic church, sprinkled by the priest. Amen. And declared a Catholic. Amen. But he wasn't faithful to the traditions of the church. Do you remember I said traditions of the church? Stay with me now. I feel like preaching. He wasn't faithful to the, to the, to the traditions of the church. And he died. Amen. So the, uh, the, the priest declared him in purgatory. Amen. So the priest told her for so much money he would pray him out of purgatory. And so the priest would go stand by the cemetery gate and the woman would, would bring up all the money she could muster up and she would bring it to the cemetery. Amen. And give it to the priest while he went over to the grave and sprinkled a little water over the grave and muttered some words. Amen. And the man, if he went to hell, he was still in hell. If he went to hell, he's still in hell today. The priest could not get him out. Amen. Neither will any preacher get your loved one out. If you want God to stand by your people. Amen. Live as close to God as you know how. Be a mother like Hannah. Be a mother like Mary. Be a mother like Susanna Wesley. Be a mother, amen, that will pray over your children. Can you
you help me preach? Oh, God. My people are scattered, Lord. Then stop the rebellion. Stop standing against God's word. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Somebody said to me, why do you preach against wearing jewelry? Hey, Amen. Who knows who's married to who and who know who don't who and, and who don't? Hey, Amen. We was in and, and, and spent Friday and Saturday among somewhere around uh, four thousand to five thousand holiness people. Hey, Amen. I never saw a, a piece of jewelry flashed in that place. It may have been there. I just didn't see it. Hey, Amen. But I'm satisfied. Nobody had any mind, had, had any uh, uh, problem telling who was married to who. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when we're married, my friend, we're going to act married. Hallelujah. We're going to live like we're married. Amen. Oh, glory. And why? why? How did the young men and the young women know the difference? Because they weren't seeking for a companion outside of the holiness movement. And they knew who was available and who wasn't available. Come on now, help me preach. I'm telling you tonight, I feel like preaching a little bit of holiness. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. And you're not going to get anywhere with God if you don't get it on the inside. Many people conform to the outward appearance. They can look the look. They can dress it. Right. But they don't walk it. Right. And they'll rise up in rebellion against God's man. And do everything they can to embarrass him 